Hi everyone, it's Sharon. I'm going to show you how when you make new friends on Facebook that you can put them into a special list that only they will see any posts that you target to that list. It's a great way of keeping your business and your personal life separate and it's a great way of um, running your business on Facebook. You don't have to unfriend people because you're going to see them in the newsfeed because you're not because they are in a specific list and you are, you know you're, you're not connecting with them every day. You only get you only see people on Facebook come up on the newsfeed if you've actually had a conversation with them, liked a post or clicked on their profiles um, just to unfollow anybody you don't want to see and pop them into a list so they're always there for you to you know if you want to get a message to them or to um, potentially you know sell to or add to your team right let's have a look so you want to go over to your personal profile and then if you get friend requests I get quite a lot of friend requests so I'll, I'll do it this way I'll show you this way so let's have a look at Leone. I tend to only have people who are genuinely, you know, I don't know who this is. I've got no friends in common. They've got not got a personal profile. So I'm going to delete that request. Um, you know, I do do that with quite a lot of people. I just, you know, I don't know who that is. I'm not a clue. Um, but I will go through all these as well. So let's start with Leone at the top here. So let's have a click on her. Usually you can tell straight away by the profiles, you know, if they want to network with you, if they're in a direct sales business or possibly in your team. So let's have a little look. Okay, workshops, courses, Mums Mindful Hub. I'm going to say that she's in networking. So yeah, we've got some Jamboree images here. So going to be direct sales. So let's pop her into that list. So let's confirm. Now when you've confirmed, you can go over to where it says friends, drop down arrow there and add to another list. Now you can call these lists anything you want. I've got a network marketing and a direct sales list set up specifically to add these um, you know, new contacts to that list. Let's add it to there. Let's have a look. There we go. So I'm going to pop it in there. Okay, now you will also see I've got an FM team. Every single person who connects with me on Facebook who's in my team goes in there. Anybody who's not in my team goes in the FM World UK. FM Cosmetics, I think I started that one a long time ago and that's got like complete international, um, but I just tend to focus with the World UK and my FM team. In fact, I don't even use that. It's just so I can, you know, put people into it. Now, I'm going to go back over to my personal profile, and this is how you would use your list. So, um, I'm going to send a message out to all of my team only, not my friends, not anybody in network marketing, just people in my team. So, I'm just going to say, um, just recording a tutorial on lists and you guys are in my team so uh, tonight's guinea pigs say hi let's have a look let's spell that right right okay in fact, I'll put come and say hi. We'll see who in the team comments. Come and say hi. Right, it's already set up for that. But what would happen usually, You, this is what you normally say. It just says friends. But I don't want it to go to my friends. I don't want it to go to anybody else but people in my team. So I'm going to click on the more. And I want specific friends. And you, like I say, you can, you know, select defend it. Now, I've just added that Leon to the network marketing. I don't want people in that group to see it. I just want people in my FM team. So that's um, highlighted. Let's save the change. There you go. So now you're going to see that this message is only going to go to people in my FM team. So let's post. That's it. Nobody else will see that. Only people in my team. Now, you can, like say, you could do a post. Oh, my, you know, my God, an amazing offer just come up 
you know, let me know. I've only got five available. Let me know if you want one. And that could go out to your customers. It could go to people who's been a party hostess. I've got a list for party hostesses. I've got a list for customers. I've got a list for, for male customers. So I can do like Valentine's offers. I've got a list for, you've seen from the team. I've got international lists. I've got lists for loads of people. So like Bethan here, she's in my team. So let's just go on Bethan. So friends. Add to another list. Now she should already be in my team. Yep, yeah, see, she's in my FM team list. So you can go through your friends whenever you see them pop up and just add them to lists. Let's have a look. Claire, I went to school with Claire. So she won't be in any list. Um, but if I wanted to pop her into a list, I would just add to a list. And see, she's just in the car. I could really put her in the school one. Um, but that's, that's how you would use that. Now I'm going to show you another way to use lists as well um let's have a little look in fact we'll just refresh this and see if anybody's seen that post before we go oh this connection's so slow when i'm up, up in this um office let's have a look i don't know nobody's seen it yet right so let's show you how else you can use your list so you're going to go to your home button at the top see i use laptops so i do apologize if i'm talking um not anything to do with devices everything i do is on my laptop um right so you see on this this on the left you've got your saved this is a brilliant tool they explore the saved and um, see looks we've got somebody sal's just popped up just recording the tutorial she'll probably say something cheeky um so you've got the saved if you see anything pop up on here that you find is going to be brilliant content to share with your you know on your business page or anything later on um you can add it to the saved list let me just quickly give you a quick demo on that as well while i'm here um oh that's nice that's my hairdresser fantastic um if i wanted to i could save that post and i could access it at any other time and um share it but we're not going to share that okay so let's go to see more you go to friends lists now i want to look at everybody who I put in the network marketing and direct sales list. Now, once a week, this is what you would do. You would come onto this once a week, go onto the network marketing and direct sales, whatever you call your networkers list, and just connect with people. You know, you just, you know, like some posts, comment, you know, that looks gorgeous. Start to build relationships. And this is how you tend to do it and keeping, you know, your work from your personal so you you know just go like a few posts but try and do some comments and things as well um, and then they're going to pop up they're, they're probably going to pop up on my newsfeed now because i've actually made a connection but that's what you want you want to keep building up friendships that's why you should go in once a week to keep the relationships going because you just don't know what somebody and um, they might want to join your team in six months they might actually want some advice in six months as well you know for me to do with the social media or something but that i hope helps you understand the power of um, creating a list on your personal profile and you don't have to go and unfriend people just simply unfollow them so if i was seeing loads of these posts i would just go on to say i'm following unfollow adele that's all i would do if i kept seeing loads of posts that weren't connecting with me i would just unfollow um, and if i see loads of spammy salesy posts i just unfriend because you know in fact i shouldn't really because they need my help um you know it's you you know how best and what your um, networking is going to be about so there you go speak to you soon bye